Newsmax hosted a debate for the Arizona GOP Senate primary candidates last night. And while there were three people on that stage, only two stole the show. Jim Lehman and Blake Masters traded jabs all night, but Lehman easily took him to task. Listen. Let's look no farther than uh, where this guy's, you know, who's holding the purse for this guy. $17 million coming out of big tech, California, globalist guy who, who will owe that too. I owe nothing except to the American people and taxpayer because it's my money that, and also the great donations across this great state. No one is going to control me or own me. He's owned right now and will be in the U.S. Senate. Joining me now is the man himself, Jim Lehman. Jim, it's great to have you on the program. Jim, great uh, to be with you and uh, great job last night, John Bachman, uh, Newsmax. What a production. It was awesome. Uh, we're out doing these early vote tours around the state, uh, hitting four or five a day. Enthusiasm huge. And a lot of the folks here uh, today uh, love the debate last night. Newsmax, you've got great fans out here, guys. <laughs> Well, I see you've got a great crowd behind you. So uh, who would you say won that big debate last night? Uh, I'm not sure it was a contest. I mean, you know, I had a couple of years of uh, playing linebacker uh, for Coach Brian at uh, Alabama and paratrooper in the military and building big billion dollar businesses. Jen, I'm not sure it was quite a contest, uh, but I don't want to take that from a personal standpoint. I'm doing this for the citizens and the people of Arizona. You know, I was so proud to be represented by so many people that were in the audience. Uh, also included in that, Brandon Judd, you know, president of 21,000 border agents that are begging for someone like myself to go to D.C. and stop the craziness. Um, Justin Harris, head of Arizona Police Association. You know, Sheriff Lamb, Sheriff Rhodes, people who are really concerned about their country and the state, just as people uh, right here in Anthem, you know, at uh, Three Brothers, uh, this restaurant, Nick has been fabulous with so many people that uh, from a grassroots standpoint, Jen, we're just fired up to get our country back. Yeah, so many people are. And, you know, during that debate, John asked you about the key issues. Inflation, obviously, number one among, among Americans right now. Uh, big tech censorship, crime, the border crisis. And, and so many Americans are suffering because of Biden's inaction. And these crises are these crises are ter colliding in, in terrible ways, as we've seen. There was a 10-year-old girl who was raped, which is awful by itself. But we've since learned that the man arrested for the crime is illegally in this country. And on top of that, there are reports that immigration and customs enforcement will run out of money by October unless DHS pulls resources from other programs. you got ICE spending more money than ever because of the surge of migrants at our border. And every state is a border state under Joe Biden. But Arizona, of course, is right in the thick of it. As a senator, what will you do to get this crisis under control? Jim, this tragedy, I mean, it, it, it breaks your heart thinking about, you know, I have uh, two beautiful grandchildren of my own how that this could happen in America. You know, the the open borders policy, which is intentional, we know these guys is causing so much heartache and crime across the country. And Jen, I just want to, for the listeners, in a perspective that I've learned from the border guys, you know, 2,600 deaths occurring every week just from fentanyl drug overdoses, 80% of which they say is coming through the Arizona southern border going across the country. Crime rates have exploded 600 now per week. Jen, this is a 9-11 every week in our country, and it is all intentional from Biden. 2020, we had this border secure. They had to remain, we had remaining Mexico policy in effect. Jim, that's my number one item and goal in U.S. Senate is codify that into law. Because as Brandon and the team said, Jim, we have every resource we need. The, the taxpayers have been very bountiful to us. We don't need more people. We don't need more drones. We need policy. That's my goal, Jen, is to get that codified into law in the U.S. Senate. How do I do it? I will do everything in my power, Jen, for the American people and the people of Arizona to make sure business does not transact in the Senate of anything I can possibly do until we get that. I'll also meet with Kirsten Sinema, our Democratic senator here. She's expressed concerns about the border. I'd love to see her actually vote that way, and I'll put that to test. You know, with right. Kirsten, well, look at what's happening. Listen, it's just I, unfair. You often wonder uh, how many more lives have to be lost before this administration takes action, but it seems like there's really no limit. So the American people are really counting on leaders like you uh, to take this administration to task and to secure our border. Jim Lehman, we have to leave it there, but thanks for being here tonight. Thanks to that great crowd behind you, and we wish you the best of luck on your campaign. 
Thank you, Jen. We love Newsmax here, too. <laughs> we appreciate you. Fantastic. Thank you so much.